Hello, um, I'm JP. I'm an ESD truck driver instructor. Today we're going to go over um, how to set the seat, how to set the steering wheel, how to make sure your mirrors are adjusted to you, and um, check the free play in the steering wheel, uh, clutch control, starting and stopping. Uh, this is what we're going to be doing in this video right here. Um, and I hope y'all uh, follow along because if I lose you, I'll try to pick you back up. I'll recap. All right. First things first. All right. When you get in a truck, you know, uh, you want to make sure that uh, you got that perfect L in your legs. You want to make sure that your seat is level. You want to, the seat high enough. How you adjust your seat is on the left side of your truck. There's a, a switch down here. And you can raise the seat with that switch. Air ride seat. So you want that perfect L. After you get this uh, perfect L, you got your feet in flat on the floor. And then you're going to sit there and push the clutch in to the floor. Make sure that your toes and your uh, ball, your foot are are perfectly on the clutch where your leg is not shaking. If your leg is shaking, that means you need to slide your seat forward. And if you've got a lot of discomfort in your knee and stuff like that, you need to raise your seat up a little bit, adjust your seat a little bit more proper. All right, with that being said, you know what I'm saying? So after we got that, so my seat is set already for me, but if you need to know how to adjust it, you adjust it right here up under the seat there's a little lever and you'll slide it to the left or to the right and then make sure you lock it back after you slide your seat forward and backwards. So let me go ahead and show you how to slide it up, slide it backwards and then set it Then make sure you lock it back. So make sure you lock your seat back. So that is how you set your seat up and down, forward and backwards. So that way you check with the clutch. Next, you're going to learn how to set your telescopic steering wheel. So right here is your, tele your steering wheel. You're going to learn how to make sure that you put your, when you put your hands at 9 and 3, 9 and 3 o'clock, and hold it, you know, you got to hold it like that, 9 and 3. And then once you get that, and, you, and, it, and if it's too high or too low, you need to adjust your steering wheel. On this particular truck, it's an air ride switch. Got a yellow button that you will step on and unlock it, which will kick your steering wheel up, down. You can go in and out. You know, you can go in and out with it. So you get it set the way you like it. Me personally, I like to set it where I can read my gauges. That way I set my steering wheel where I can read all my gauges. You know, that's the way I like to do it. Uh, so that's how you set the steering wheel. But make sure that you're, you got a little sag in your arms. That way there's no discomfort. You know, you ain't stretched out like, like you're trying to drive a school bus or something. You know, where they don't move. So that's how you set your steering wheel. Next, you need to look at your mirrors. When you look at your mirrors, make sure that you can see down the side of the trailer with a flat mirror. So you got a flat mirror, you got a converse mirror. And make sure you, you set your mirrors where you can see. All right, your flat mirror is, is set up so you can uh, look down the side of the trailer and out some, about 250 feet. Your converse mirror, the little fisheye fool mirror, is set so they can look at your tires and everything like that. Now that mirror there makes everything appear smaller and closer than what it really is. So it's really further away, all right? So it's really further away than what it is. But that's the mirror you wanna look at your tires and stuff with. You know when you're back all right so and you got mirror controls make sure that you look at your mirror controls on your door click it l for left side right r for right side and work your mirrors to adjust your mirrors don't ever reach outside and push the mirror with your hands or your fingers because you can break those break the mirror where it's not going to be able to be adjusted so make sure you do that okay now we're going to talk about the free play in the steering wheel all right, so you're gonna take your right hand and put it at the top of the steering wheel. When you put your right hand on top of the steering wheel, you wanna slowly go to the left. And when you feel the wheel actually start to move, that's how much free play you got in the steering wheel to the left. I got about two inches of free play in this truck to the left before I actually feel the wheel move. 
All right, then I'm going to redo it. Now I'm going to put my uh, hand back at 12 o'clock, and I'm going to row to the right. I also got about two inches of free play on this side. So this is a 20-inch steering wheel. By it being a 20-inch steering wheel, I want 10 degrees of free play or two inches. No more, you know what I'm saying, than that. If it gets any more than that, you need to get your steering looked at because it's too loose. You don't want it to uh, be loose. So you always want to check your free play and steering wheel. So whenever we start backing up, you always want to add that little two inches to what you want. So if I tell you to turn the wheel a quarter turn left because you're drifting to the left or a quarter turn to the right because you're drifting to the right, you want to go ahead and put a quarter turn, then add those two inches. That way you don't. You always know that you need to do that. That's when we start backing up on straight line and stuff. All right, next, after that, you know, you get all this set up. Now we're gonna talk about clutch control. All right, clutch control, the clutch has uh, two features in it. It's got a uh, feature number one, it's called the clutch brake. You're gonna put the clutch all the way to the floor, as far as it'll go, all the way to the floor, as far as it'll go, and you're gonna uh, count to five, and then you're gonna take your shifter and come over here and put it in gear, put it in first gear. And then you, then you release your brakes and stuff like that. But anyway, now we're going to go ahead and talk about why. Why you got to push it to the floor. Because a lot of times people don't know the reason why. If you look at your shifter right now, we're idling, right? You feel the island is shaking in the truck. I got counterweights in there on the clutches, and the clutches start to spin. So when the clutches start to spin, it don't allow the shifter to go in gear. As you can hear the grinding. So your transmission is spinning. So you push the clutch down to the floor and give it a second. It all depends on your clutch adjustment and your clutch brake. And give it time to stop the transmission from spinning and then the truck won't give you a fit. It'll go into gear really easy, okay? So you, you'll push the clutch to the floor, count to five in your mind. You know what I'm saying? Once you get to five, then take your hand, put it on the shifter and just ease it back. It goes right in the gear without all that grinding sound. Okay, that's your clutch brake. Now, there's only three times that clutch ever goes to the floor. It goes to the floor when I'm taking off, going forward. It goes to the floor whenever I'm putting the gear to put it in reverse, to back up. It goes to the floor to stop. So when I push the clutch to the floor, I ease the brake to stop. That way your truck don't shake and rock and bust. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate that here in just a second. All right. Is there any questions about the clutch brake? So how many times it goes to the floor? Three times. Three times. So it only goes to the floor three times. All right. Now we're going to demonstrate stopping and going. You know, that way you're taking off. So right now we're already pulled all the way up. So we're going to go ahead and put it in reverse. And right there's your gear pattern. You know what I'm saying? We're going to go to reverse right here. All right. So when we get to reverse, we're going to go ahead and push the clutch to the floor. Count to five in your mind. And once we get to the floor, we're going to go ahead and put our truck in gear. We're going to release our parking brake. Now I'm hooked to a yard trailer. Uh, this trailer don't have trailer brake. It's just something that, uh, that we're playing with. So I got the red knob off on this truck. Just to explain that, so we don't have to push the red in. This is just for practice purposes only. That's all this trailer is used for. It's not to go on the road or anything like that. All right. So now we're going to talk. Watch how my foot slowly comes off the clutch. So as I slowly let the clutch up, you know what I'm saying? I got my foot on the brake because my brakes are released. Once I get where I feel that little quiver in my left foot, I will take my foot off the brake so that way the transmission is holding the truck. Then I'm gonna slowly let up a little bit more. She's gonna start pulling. And when she starts to pull, then I take my foot all the way off of the truck so it takes off smooth. Now, if I go to stop, I'm gonna push the clutch to the floor, ease the brake to stop. That way I stop smooth. And that's the demonstration of this uh, class right now, is how to stop the truck, get the truck rolling, so you're not sh shaking and jumping, and, you know what I'm saying? This is an eat full of transmission. That way you're not popping the clutch, shaking, all that good stuff. 
All right, thank you for your time. This is JP speaking. All right, bye-bye.